Compared to the 455 billion year history of Earth, human civilization has existed for merely a blink of an eye. But we can optimistically believe this is just the beginning, and human civilization can continue far into the future, barring any catastrophes. So how long might human civilization exist in the universe? It's a question worth pondering. As we know, Earth is humankind's sole home in the universe. All humans, throughout history, have been unable to leave Earth. For human civilization, this is not an ideal situation, as it is akin to putting all one's eggs in one basket. If anything unexpected were to happen to planet Earth, human civilization would vanish from the universe. Therefore, a primary condition for human civilization persisting long term is that at least some humans should leave Earth and inhabit other planets. It's important to recognize that the Sun is constantly undergoing nuclear fusion reactions in its core, converting hydrogen into helium and releasing light and heat. But the Sun does not last eternally unchanged. It too evolves over time as helium accumulates in its core. Since conditions in the Sun's core are insufficient to ignite nuclear fusion of helium, helium accumulates continuously. This causes the shell layer of the Sun's core reaction zone to expand constantly, resulting in more hydrogen undergoing fusion, making the Sun progressively brighter. According to scientists' estimates, the Sun's luminosity has increased 10% every billion years since its birth. Based on this, surface temperatures will reach 47 to 70 degrees C in about a billion years, at which point Earth will no longer be habitable for humans. This means we have a final deadline of 1 billion years before conditions on Earth become untenable. Humans must find a new home, a planet more hospitable for human life within the next billion years. Where should we go? Mars is a prime candidate. Mars is farther from the Sun than Earth, so currently it has colder average temperatures around 63 degrees C and a very thin atmosphere without liquid water. However, detection data indicates there is a significant amount of ice on Mars. If melted, this could form oceans and atmospheric gases. Thus, as the Sun becomes hotter, Mars will become warmer and more humid. It's fair to say that in the future, Mars may transform into a planet suitable for humans. Of course, we can't rely on the Sun alone to make Mars habitable. This requires human action, utilizing technologies to make Mars more Earth-like. In theory, given sufficient time, these technologies are feasible. Meanwhile, with the brightening sun, some farther planets may also develop conditions amenable to humans, like Jupiter's moon Europa or Saturn's moon Titan. Barring mishaps, it's reasonable to think human civilization could inhabit multiple solar system planets within a billion years. However, the solar system won't always sustain human life. In about 5 billion years, the Sun will evolve into a red giant star as fuel in its core reaction zone is depleted. At that point, the Sun's radius will exceed 200 times its current size, with terrible helium flashes during its evolution. After that, the red giant Sun will gradually shed its outer layers, leaving a hot white dwarf core. At that stage, the entire solar system will become uninhabitable for humans. Therefore, before the Sun turns into a red giant, humans must migrate to other stars. Provided planets in stable orbits, human civilization can persist. Although interstellar travel is impossible now, it's hard to believe human civilization won't have mastered it after five billion more years of development. Once capable of interstellar travel, civilization could gradually spread throughout the Milky Way, inhabiting one livable planet after another. It may take only tens of millions of years for humans to colonize the entire Milky Way galaxy. Interestingly, observations show the Andromeda galaxy is approaching the Milky Way, expected to collide in about four billion years, this galactic collision will result in the two merging into one giant elliptical galaxy. Could human civilization survive this merger? The answer is yes. The Milky Way Andromeda collision will occur gradually over 7 billion years, an extremely slow, gradual process. And given the sparse distribution of stars in these giant galaxies, stellar collisions will almost never happen during merging. For civilizations with interstellar travel, this poses no threat to survival. On the contrary, Andromeda's arrival will provide more resources beneficial for human development in the combined galaxy. Based on data, the Milky Way has 200-400 billion stars, while Andromeda is even larger with over 1 trillion stars. 
It's easy to envision that after assimilating these huge resources, human civilization could develop warp drive and wormhole technologies, enabling ultra-long distance space travel. This would allow leaving their home galaxies, spreading human civilization from galaxy to galaxy. However, stars do not last indefinitely. In around 10 trillion years, the hydrogen supply in the universe may become insufficient to support star formation. After that, the cosmos will become dark. Where could civilization find energy then? Black holes may offer a solution. Contrary to the notion of entry but no exit, black holes constantly emit energy outwards via Hawking radiation. They also contain immense gravitational potential energy, theoretically extractable through a Penrose process. This process was proposed by physicist Roger Penrose, 2020 Nobel laureate in physics. His idea, a rotating black hole's powerful gravity causes a dragging effect on surrounding space-time, forming a region called the ergosphere outside the event horizon. The Penrose process sends an object into the ergosphere where it splits in two. One part falls into the hole, the other escapes. With proper angles and speeds, the escaping piece can carry much more kinetic energy than when it entered. Calculations show energy extraction up to 29% of the black hole's total mass may be feasible. Adding electric charge could further boost efficiency. This is just one idea we have now. In the future, even more incredible methods to harness black hole energy doubtless will emerge. If civilization could master black hole energy extraction, it may continue even in a dark universe. But black holes also eventually evaporate over time via Hawking radiation. Generally, the more massive the black hole, the slower its evaporation. A three solar mass black hole would vanish in around 10.68 years, while supermassive black holes in galactic centers may persist 10 to the power of 92 to 10 to the power of 93 years. So after black holes evaporate, where could civilization find energy? With power from black holes, civilization could endure a very long time, developing more advanced technologies like extracting vacuum zero-point energy. In short, quantum theory says vacuum is not the lowest energy state, meaning vacuum contains energy dubbed zero-point energy. If future humans could somehow extract this energy, civilization would never lack power sources again. Barring mishaps, human civilization could then continue existing until the hypothetical end of the universe.